What's happening guys, Dan here, the ESP shop, back at it. We've been a jamming on this fine Camara. Now, um, a couple days ago was the weekend and we just had this thing with its first start by Fluke, John and Cecil came by and they gave it a quick tune and it's exciting. There's still lots of little tiny things, but you know what? It runs, everything's kind of together and this weekend, if I'm lucky, and the weekend goes all the way till uh, Sunday at midnight, just so we're clear, but I'd like to see if this thing could move under its own power. We'll see. The problem is, this if this was like a roadkill episode, we could have this thing wired up, put some seats in it, and be driving it this afternoon, right? But in terms of, I'm trying not to redo things, go through things twice and all that, I'd like to do it kind of properly. So I'm waiting on a few parts after this today, Rock Auto Man dropped off um, some stuff while I was at work, but we have like an ignition, legit stuff, all that. Actually in the the Nomad, I picked up a cluster. Um, so I have like gauges for this thing. I wanna put a wiring harness in. So I'd like to just have it so it runs like off the key and there's a proper seat in it with carpet and all those things, which does take time, unfortunately. But I mean, I don't wanna have this thing rigged up like we got the 57 and it's on like a kill switch, you got a battery ratchet strapped to the frame rail, and it's just like, is it a runner? Yes, but this car is far enough along now that there's no point in just, you know, doing it, going full DD speed job. We have these inner fenders. I painted those, so those can go on pretty much at any time. Um, that's how it'll be easy to go in this side. I feel as though the brakes are gonna be in the way, but maybe not, you never know, I'll have to, uh, I think, I think this goes to the front. So this is the driver's side ish, right? Is that how that works? Must be. So maybe we'll be able to sneak around there. I mean, the brakes have to go in there somehow. May just have to kind of bend this over or do whatever, but that's coming up. I'd like to get those in and like the whole front is, she's loose on there. I'd like to get that dialed. We adjust this door. We pulled the core support um, just for the hood latch mechanism, the headlights, all that sort of stuff. I like to put that in there as well. But what we're doing today, oh, I can't even open this door. Somebody needs to adjust that fender. I bought a windshield for this thing. And if I learned one thing, glass is way better when it's in the car. This was such a bonehead move I did. This thing was loaded full of parts when I was bringing it home and the trunk lid was sitting on a pile of parts and it was sitting on the dash and there was no glass in it. I think this door was falling off. So I just ran a ratchet strap the whole way around and as I ratcheted it all down, it lifted up and it cracked right there, spidered the windshield. So that's a hassle, but uh, we're gonna pull it out. I believe this is supposed to have attached in there somehow, but I'm thinking it's just attached to this. So if I pull out this vent plate or whatever you wanna call it, that should come off the bottom, trim should come out. These will all just snap off and then we can pull it out glue no one in and uh, kind of let that sit. I don't know what we'll do next. Maybe we'll carry on with some of the, put the, put the tubs in and, and crap like that. And then start working on the inside. We have carpet, wiring, all sorts of stuff to do. But uh, I want to say home stretch, but we still got weeks of work, but maybe one or three or five days and we can like drive around the block because it looks amazing. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take this apart. All we're going to use is a, Ratchet. I'm hoping that you know what. Let's take this front piece off first. Oh, some of these are even loose. I'm thinking there's a little bit of mismatched hardware holding this front together. I know it's shocking. This was such a one owner, low mile original car. But I'm hoping this will come right out. We already have the wiper mechanism or the uh. The arm's off. Actually, I ordered a new wiper motor. That might be inside. There's been a lot of Rock Auto showing up lately. We can get this dialed. And we got MERS, looks like a shank, prison shank, uh, trim removal. Which, for whatever reason, you guys wanted to see. How's this? Well, that's just going to sit there. Oh, yeah. I think we're golden. Um, how the, the actual windshield came right out, I cut it out, which I thought was just kind of boring ugliness, but well, this is, this thing has the squirters and everything, man, we're uh, dialed on this. 
So yeah, my thoughts are, oh, this side is bolted in still. Let's see if we can sneak it out. This might be a, oh, I thought this comes out and then that comes out separate. I could have sworn on, huh, maybe it's tri five I'm thinking, but this was attached to that. Not, okay, well, so remember what I was just saying about how it went together? That's clearly not the case. This is attached. Oh, it's just got little, little screws. That's pretty sweet. This side, there's one that I can see that goes in the fender, which is gonna be a hassle. This side does not. So we'll just go ahead, take it off. And it looks like there's a little block that holds the glass from falling down. Oh, a little impact would be sweet right about now. Am I missing this? Oh, it's just stripped, so that one's optional, I guess. What the? On the plus side, I didn't even look in here, but everybody said that rots out here, but that's all mint. It's all factory. Okay. Well, I'm going to fight with this a little. Oh, not too bad. Didn't hit the ground. Damn it. That's flattire.com right there because it's in the fender. Let's go ahead. I'll struggle with this. But as you can see, this will come right off. And then we'll come back and we're, we're taking that off because that's, uh, I guess that's a good watching according to you guys. Okay, bottom piece is out. Came out like nothing. You know, now that I'm looking at it, that's all solid. So that's cherry. With this out, and then once we pull the glass out, I'm thinking what we should probably do, well, that didn't really have much hold in it. I should paint the dash and this. So we might pull the glass out and then do that, let that all kind of dry up or whatever. Uh, we're actually going to MERS for dinner. Back in town, that guy. Wait us over for all the crap dinner we can eat. Oh, what's going on here? A little tight at the corner. And uh, so maybe we'll do that, get that far, do a little dinner, and finish the night out. With screw well, I guess I can paint that work on wheel tubs. Who am I kidding? What is this? We don't just do one job at a time. So this thing. Yeah, stolen tools from your old man. Is there anything better than that? Gentle. Okay. That one's out. There we go. So now, we gotta get out the cutting tool. I'll put this stuff away organized nicely on the ground. We'll be right back, cut that out. It's broken, so it's kind of irrelevant, but we'll try and take it out decently. So here are the tools. Hang on, I got just the camera. So we're gonna use this little, it's kind of got like a knife deal. And uh, what we're gonna do is jam it in the, the urethane and we pull with this handle. And we're gonna cut it the whole way out. I already got the, tar the torch fired up. Somebody uh, melted the auto start. Um, but we're gonna use that, we're gonna heat up the, uh, the urethane around it. It makes it cut so much easier Safety glasses are a must. I don't know about you guys, but shards of glass in my eye. I mean, as tough as I want to be. That sounds terrible. Fortunately, Danny is not here right now. So you're going to have to get, whoa, the far view. A little bit of safety goes a long way when it comes to your eyeballs, you know. You got 10 fingers, 10 toes. You only got two eyeballs. So we'll crack this up. This will probably be a little terrible about the... The paint, we're just trying to get this a little bit flexible. I've learned, even putting the windshield goo in, I put the tubes like in front of the furnace, or a little bit so they're nice and easy to kind of squeeze in there. It seems like it's really, gets pretty hard. And that's a hassle, especially trying to get out of a tube and put the windshield in. Not that I've done a lot of glass, so don't take me as any sort of expert. 
but I've done glass where it's failed and the stuff didn't stick and it came out so well, the windshield was loose actually in La Nova years ago when I was still an amateur and a little bit of heat makes a big difference so let's see if we got it hot enough leave your fire going right so you put it in and you got to turn it in so now we're between the glass oh, I screwed this up hang on you can already feel it's nice. We're between the glass, and you just kind of want to give her a pull. It'll cut right through there. Yeah. Now we're hitting the, the window clip. There we go. Keep going. Nice and easy. Another window clip. Try to go around that one. Ooh, that might be a little tight. Anyways, that's that. So we've cut through, obviously. You can see how wide the blade was. We dragged her all the way through. We're just gonna go the whole way around there and uh, I start to push it out again. If you really don't care about the glass, which we really don't in this situation, if we get the top kind of cut away from it, it'll kind of fold forward. It'll be what it's gonna be. Take your nearest instruction manual, put it on top of the carburetor just in case shards of glass fall in there. Oh. Come on, MSD, don't let me down now. So yeah, you saw the basics. A little fast motion the rest. I will take my time. It'll be out before you know it. Okay, so <laughs> patience is something I have not. I broke the glass in a few spots. I think in the bottom here, I should even cut it. I'm probably gonna try to heat it up and kind of get it to kind of fold out. Because I can get in here, the little tool, and, and, the, and the windshield moves in pieces. <laughs> Glassware, okay, I'm just get my finger in there. Use the cutting tool as a lever. Oh, there we go. Oh, so this glass is definitely a little muckier. Oh, it's stuck right in the corner. Oh my Lord. Then uh, the rope and stuff, like a tri five. So this is arguably, I would say easier but more uh, screwing around grossness, the roping it in. There you go. Broken glass out. Somebody will take care of that. Now, you can kind of see, everyone says, oh, bottom of the windshield. Oh, there's just, yeah, it's a little soft, but whatever, I'll clean that up. Should be fine. We can see the little, where the glue goes. Might clean that up, put a little, little goo in there and then this side this side's fine too so we don't really have any issues there's just a little bit of rot at the bottom but honestly i think a little a little glue will be fine in there yeah so we'll peel this out get down to the the bare metal but you can see now is the time obviously to paint the dash we can get in here just scuff it up it's it's in really nice shape we'll paint that satin Paint this side. This you'll never see. It's all below oh, the grill guard over there. But hey, we might as well get at it. As you can see here too, whoop, everything works. So we'll give that a quick oiling while we're at it. Just because. And then I have, I have a white motor coming for it. Man, who'd have thought? This thing's like fully restored. So... I'll scrape all this off. I might be able to use a little bit of heat actually. And whoops, just kind of have this come out easy. And then, uh, oh, that's mint. 
just kind of wire wheel it. I think they uh, clean, they put some sort of like primer on, but we're just gonna do whatever we want. The DD Speed Shop way. So game time decision, I painted everything flat black. I was gonna paint it like satin, but I was like, you know what? That might have a glare and stuff to it. And I forget what I did that on. I feel like I painted something satin black. I shouldn't have. Of all the time, now would be the time to change the dashboard. So let's glue this window in. Uh, everything's good there, I think-ish. Like, you know, I kind of cleaned it all up best I could. I, you know, I, I scraped it a bunch and then I started to wire wheel it. Whatever was left, the wire wheel just turned to like ooze. So we have quick cure, primerless, auto glass. So you need the primer, there you go, I thought I did. So we got the glass there, I cleaned up the bottom side. We'll just see if we can kind of put this in. This is one of those skills I'm getting better at maybe, but you don't want too much, but too little is a real problem. And I've had that, uh, I said that Nova, the glass was falling right out of it there. Something else I did that on too, I forget. So we're gonna go across here, it's very simple. And there's this little pad, and there's one actually on Danny's side there as well. And that's what the glass actually rests on. So you just kind of put it in there, push it down, and it should be, well, it's gonna rest on those. That's what it's gonna do as far as I'm concerned. So jam this in there. I wish I bought a dash pad now. I, I keep, when's enough enough, I guess. You have to at some point, quit spending money or whatever it may be. I mean, unless you're going through a complete restoration. I can already hear them in the comments saying, you can keep spending all the money on it. Do it oh, right. yeah. The internet's it's Camaro that no one else pays for. I did the dash pad in the, the Nova. I think I did that after uh, we had the window in. So I mean, it's doable. It's just... Like in your Nova? In the yellow one? Yeah. I think it has a brand new dash pad in it. I don't really remember. At one point, I care about that car. Actually, I want to bring it back. I want to repaint it. I think that's what I'm going to do to it. Needs another coat of yellow. So, I don't know. Is that enough? Or, you know when you think there's enough? You just give it a little bit more. So you really don't want it leaking in the top. As far as I'm concerned. So we'll double layer that. And these things leak down the corner. So, maybe we'll just do that. Remember I said less is more? What I meant to say was more is more. More is more. Oh, we had a blowout too. I dropped this and I tried to tape it back together. So this tube is uh, not long for this world. You might as well just use it because it's going to turn into a puddle of goo. Oh, oh boy. It's kind of like a caterpillar. Yeah. Snake. Snake. There we go gentle. Where can I put this where it won't make a mess? Does it matter? The ground. Okay. Got that one's not really doing nothing. I do have concerns. Hopefully this doesn't get a hold. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, we're way too far over. Is that lined up ish on your side? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh. Whew. Don't break. Huh. Seems like it kind of fits miscellaneously. Doesn't really goosh down right here. Oh, there we go. Aftermarket glass. It seems a lot easier than a tripod window, though. Yeah. Yes and no, I guess. Okay. It seems it's not even touching there for some reason. There you go. It kind of. A little shake in there. And then this, I'm gonna go ahead and just run my finger along all the edges. I don't know, this is just my own thoughts, but keep all the water out. 
a little tight on that side. You need skinnier fingers. Oh, sorry. Some people are saying that the dog was too skinny in the last video. What? Last time Steve went to the vet, he told me Steve is too fat, and I got mad at the vet for telling me that. Yeah. That's what I said. I was like, he's a little fatty. Eh, so that's probably good. I don't think it's gonna go nowhere. And really, if it's gonna leak, I think it'll leak on the top bit. And if we schmoo it all in here like this, I don't think she's going nowhere. A good contact all on the sides, pretty decent across the bottom. I guess we could you know, just do like a little bead across there if we're really worried about it. But I think this will probably be good enough. The DD Speed Shop way. The DD Speed Shop way. You know what? It's a windshield that's not broken. We're already winning. <laughs> we're already winning. Made in China. Where everything is made. American muscle cars. Okay. Well, I think that's... I might schmoo a little bit on the bottom just so I feel better about it. No one's ever going to see it. But we'll let that set up. Um, I bought a wiper motor. But, of course, it doesn't come with all the hardware. Story of my life. And uh, i got to figure out what the thread pitch is on that. But that can go in there so that, that will fit around everything. So that's pretty sweet. But I gotta get a nut for the end, for that little gear to fit on. I think I should probably do that, because it'd be a lot easier to do it with that grill wheel. Maybe I'll just find it. I guess I can put it all back together. It shouldn't be a big deal. We gotta figure that out. And this is just, I think it's a two speed. So it's literally got <laughs> on and high. And then we just gotta put a, squirter pump in we should be good so we'll let this set up for i think it's an hour it takes so we're going out for dinner and then when we come back we'll do trim and start putting bits and pieces on like actually oh i also got a trunk lock in this so i want to put all the locks in this thing because the trunk's a disaster with a key with a screwdriver all the time we'll put the front end together and make it look like a car it looks good with the new windshield in it looks great just don't crack it this time well i'm not going to store things in it I'm gonna try not to store things in it. So we'll be back soon. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I don't exactly remember where we left it, but the window's in, and I think that's all I did. So, whatever. Uh, we went a little, a little excessive, maybe some of the glue. We could have kept it a little lower, because that's gonna be about there, so you'll see a little bit of it. But honestly, I guess unless we went right at the very bottom, eh, you know what? It's fine. So we got to put the trim on this thing. I picked up a pile of nuts and bolts because I needed them, but I got stuff for like steering and you know, whatever, the coil. Oh, and in here, I think there should be, should be a bunch of speed nuts. <laughs> Let's double check in there. So, oh yeah, here they are. So these, they didn't have exact size I wanted. They were kind of on the long side. But these will go up in there. I could use nut and bolts, so we may do that. But I'd like to put the inner fenders on now, do that. I picked up a set of front wheels because I'm an idiot and I can't not buy wheels when they're a good deal. So a set of Kragers with tires, what? So I'm gonna put these on the front and see how it looks. Because we do have these Mickey's Steelies with caps, which I do like, but if you put Craigers up front, Steely's out back, it'll have like that day two look, which everyone kind of goes for, which I dig. Um, and then I bought a grill. This is a rip off for what it is. When <laughs> the guy's like, yeah, grill's 120 bucks. I'm like, sweet, whole grill for 120 bucks. Wow, not much to it. So I'd like to do that and I want to take this one apart. There is some bracketry to take that all apart in case I need some clips or whatever. I know I'm on the wrong side. We can take that all apart and fit that in the front of this thing. And maybe even put the headlights in and kind of make it look like a car in the front. Because right now it doesn't have a whole lot. And we're not putting bumpers on the front because I like the way of no bumper looks. And yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Make it look like something. So let's get to it. Let's bang that trim on uh, right quick. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just gonna start putting it together. Should be a fun one. Okay, so we're right back to where we started, except it isn't spidered. Uh, put some new hardware in there so it looks nice. Now. 
The way this grill works, as I see, this bit here and here attach to the car itself, and then the grill attaches to it. And then, yeah, it's, it uses these like push pin things. So if I get some of those, or maybe we'll just use some, some you know, little tiny screws, nuts and bolts, whatever it is. The other situation, so these, I have a bunch of these, but as I found out, brand new, new-ish ones. See how it sticks out more? These are 67, these are 68. So these fit, you know, wherever the headlight, I guess is something that, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, what's supposed to happen is see this ring right here is supposed to be, uh, you know, kind of brushed. Same with the edge around the outside. And I think this is supposed to be kind of brushed and uh, none of that's happening. I'm not buying new stuff because I mean, you can spend, the grill piece is 120, it was broken. The end pieces I think were 100 for the pair and those are probably, I don't know, whatever. I mean, you get four or 500 bucks on a grill here and ain't, we're not doing that. And since the car is kind of, you know, a little bit blacked out and stuff anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disassemble that and we're gonna go ahead, scuff it. We're gonna paint that, that, and the headlight rounds all like a satin, you know, semi-gloss. Maybe we'll go flat black, I don't know. I don't know, it'll look good. Just black it out. It'll kind of give like, uh, the RS was all blacked out everything, so this will be the base model, but everything will be black. So that is what I'm gonna do. Unfortunately, I don't think I have a whole lot of flat black. Huh. We have semi. We'll see, we might throw in a, a little run to the parts store. So we'll get that apart, scuff it, and shoot it because it is a nice day today and tomorrow I think it's supposed to be decent and it's gonna be shit. So we're gonna trap it inside. But I'd like to get that all painted and start slopping that together. Anyways, well that's drying or I'm getting stuff, then it's drying. I will uh, do wheel tubs, put the front end together, wheels, tires, call the video, this thing will look badass. Or it'll take me all night and I'll be struggling and hate my life. Probably a little of both. Okay, a little parts run. Man, this Nomad's awesome. Um, so let's just kind of put a coat of paint on this stuff. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. They're pretty, pretty beat up. Um, so let's put these wheel tubs in. Now, I'm thinking the tubs themselves have uh, like captured nuts. So that'll be on the, the wheel arch on the inside. They gotta fit on the inside of that. And then here and here, there should be like a little uh, speed clip type thing. So whether we use those or it's not bolt together, I'm not really too sure just yet, but we'll go ahead and see if we'll get this dialed. The fenders are very loose and nothing is really kind of fitting. So I'm gonna leave it like that just so I can move stuff around wherever I have to. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, I am hoping. We'll get this side in, there's nothing in its way. This side, my only fear is the brake lines, the way I've run them. They may have to take a scooch over or worst case, I gotta remake them, which I'd rather not do. But uh, I do think the wheel wells will make, will look good in this car. I'm a big fan of no wheel wells on a lot of things or, you know, cut out stuff, but I like fender wheel headers. This being stock, who really cares? And then it'll give a nice place for probably the battery right here, which we have to deal with at some point as well. So, well, you know, when you're doing a hundred point restoration here, you guys, you gotta, you gotta go the extra mile. Um, so yeah, we'll let that stuff set up. Tubs in, wheels on, because that's honestly all I really care about today. I want these badass wheels on this thing. Then, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll make it look nice. Okay, so, you see this is the inner, I didn't do anything on the inside. We'll give it a shot of rocker guard maybe, but it's got these little kind of nutsery type deal welded in stud things. I took down the front uh, fender extension because I believe this goes, I'm going to assume on top of it, and I had nuts and bolts in there. So we'll just see how nicely this fits. Hopefully, without scratching it all to complete hell, that's not really happening. How can I do this? Fold it a little? Oh yeah. I hate, oh. Imagine it was on a nice car with nice paint. 
I wonder if I can go in from the top, maybe. Now that I'm looking at it. I wonder if I'm the idiot in this situation. Damn witted almost. Slowly. I didn't even think to go from the top. It's really unlike me. Not thinking things through. Well, it. Not. I wouldn't say it's easy. Hmm. It's just a matter of what we do here. We're gonna run into a situation. Nope. We're gonna ruin it. We're gonna <laughs> jammer in. You know the later model stuff. Plastic wheel tubs. It looks kind of chintz and all that, but I will say they don't rust out. They really jam on them. And it is what it is, but they do tend to break. So that's a hassle. At least these ones just rust out. I guess it's kind of irrelevant, eh? All right, we're almost there. A couple more seconds. Thanks for watching. Nothing. This is definitely one of those things where there's a Tetris way of getting it in there. Oh. That's what the... Plus this has to be completely off. That'd be a hassle. You think? Well, you know what? It's just two bolts. Oh, it's not even tight, that one. What do I do on this one? Also not tight. Maybe instead of cheating the system one of these days, I'll just do it right. Uh, I don't know it doesn't fall, but... Okay, maybe now? Oh, you bugger. Oh. What are we caught on now? The header. Okay, well that's not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, what a... Conundrum. Oh, the frame rails. No. This isn't... This isn't going well. I wonder if I should just take the fender right off and bolt it to the fender. <sighs> Quit cheating, Dan. All right, let's take the fender off. Okay, so we got the fender off and... Uh, we should just be able to tuck this in now. Don't worry, it's sitting on my jacket, so you know it's not going to get scratched up. Unless it falls. Yeah. So that's the way to do it. Everything just kind of lined up. <laughs> I'll sink a few screws or, or bolts in there, I should say, and then we'll uh, put it on there kind of loose, but it'll be one piece. Really not, not too shabby. Okay, it's all back together. Well, together, the holes all line up. Uh, maybe you can't see that, but you have to trust me. Now, oh, oh it's heavier, that's for sure. Okay. okay. Well, it just kind of fit together. Uh, what are we caught on? Don't see why this isn't going. We're obviously hitting something. Oh, the brake line. What the heck is that supposed to do? That's clearly where the brake line goes. Bend that over. Maybe. Oh, there we go. It's very high for some reason. I wonder if these are like a trim to fit deal or what the heck. They're clearly for this car. Or do we just send it home and it'll bend itself into place? Hang on, let me put a bolt in here. I'll show you guys right quick. Actually, it kind of supports it a little. 
gentle. The inner fender is sitting on top of the frame and it's actually kind of touching. Oh, but you know what? We have a gap here. So that's probably, wow, look at that. Inner fender wells, what a concept. So we should be able to do it. You can see here, these will, you gotta squeeze them over just a little bit, but those all line up. So that's where this piece goes. We can clamp that all together. This will all line up. Oh, here it goes out a little bit. So we'll send that home. And then all we gotta do is bring it down. And I'll have to put some sort of a, oh, there's actually a stud there. I'm gonna do that. We should, uh, might really fit pretty nicely here. Oh, did I scuff the fender? Whoops. Maybe that denim jacket wasn't quite so soft after all. <coughs> after all. Uh, mint, okay. I'll put some hardware in there, but we should be fine. This side, now that I see it, um, yeah, that's that brake line's gonna be in the way, but we can just bend this one over, and this one, we'll see. We'll see if we get away with it, otherwise I'm making a long, goofy one to kind of wrap around and see where this is. Or, that side, you know what we can do? Is just zip this off. It won't be factory, but it'll save us a bunch of headaches. And I'm all about avoiding headaches. Well, I mean, I do them twice, but whatever. At least now it'll all come up together. Looks good. Honestly, let's put the fender on and we put the Krager on. That's the win of the day. Well, what a lot of work that was just to get everything tied together. Like these are like stamped, but they're like spring loaded the exact way you don't want. But now that I have it in there, it's actually not touching anything. So that's good. Don't fall. Um, yeah, we have it bolted. I mean, this is, she's on there. Uh, we have a decent door gap to work with. Uh, it still has to kind of go up and back just a little bit. I was playing with some shims. So probably needs a, the shim taken out and it'll just kind of scoot right back. But the big thing is this door has to be adjusted. As you guys have let me know in the comment section 50 times, it's a disaster, but at a distance, it looks good. It fits pretty good. It's in there. It really cleans up the wheel well, actually. I'm pretty stoked on that. Um, but yeah, let's lift this thing up in the air. Let's put that Krager wheel on, because that's all that really matters. Actually, we'll, uh, I'll clean some of this junk off. And then we'll snap through the other side. Or maybe I'll just do it right quick. I don't know what I'm going to do. This side... So yeah, that's how it's gonna fit. I'm thinking, well, I don't know what I'm thinking. I should hack that wheel well up a little bit just to make my life a little easier. Thinking I might do that. Maybe we'll get this side on right quick. The fender has to come off anyways. And uh, ah, it's a hassle. This is why I don't like finishing things, guys. It takes so much time. Um, so I got the other inner fender well in. People want to see. So everything went pretty good. Um, I ended up not using a speed clip, so I just nut and bolted it. Bit of a hassle. The one brake line's tight. I think I will redo it. It's kind of eh. But actually, the fender's fit okay. They need a little bit of tweaking and, and whatnot, but everything is in and locked in, and I'm happy with it. So now I want to put the wheels on. So those wheels were 26 by 26 sixes. And I think these ones work out to be 27, maybe tall or something like that. So I'll uh, lift this old girl up. It's been a long time since I put a set of Kragers on something. The last thing I had Kragers was your car, and it was rough, rough Kragers. Probably that giveaway from you said was the last time I put a set of nice Kragers. These are mediocre at best, but I like them. Okay. He's working harder now, the car, every time the car's getting heavier and heavier. Whoa. So, they're Unilug, which I kind of hate, but when the price is right, the price is right. Hope these tires aren't too tall. They should fit okay. Look at that. Krager SS. I need my impact. So now it's gonna be like that day two look. And ultimately I get to keep my uh, poverty caps. And it's nothing to 
put them on after, I guess. But. Oh, yeah. Look at these babies. I don't feel like you're as impressed as you should be. I am so impressed. I'm in awe. This is why I'm silent. This Prager SS's chicks like it. I think. Oh, it's a bit of a hassle. Unilug. What's a Unilug? Fit Chevy and Ford in this case. So they're kind of slotted, so you have to have them all in for it to kind of go together. Fords have a smaller, well, Ford and Dodge, I guess, have a smaller bowl pattern. Other than the superior Chevrolet. So it's just a hassle, you gotta start all of them and kind of work its way in. The lug nuts kind of center it. Oh, these might need keys on them. Huh. Well, they're not really centering itself in the, with the lug. Well, maybe it did. Yeah, straightish. Straight enough. Now, put the backs on. We gotta do actually all of them, but we'll just do this side. Then miraculously, we'll come back to the other side. No, you wanna see more working, less talking. <sighs> the, the problem is the chance of butt crack becomes higher and higher. Somebody asked for longer videos. Who would ask for that? Longer and more. <laughs> what kind of sick person would do that? <laughs> I've had enough of these videos. <laughs> the amount of time we're spending together is really starting to get up there. You love it. These tires are kind of big on the front. You love it. Yes. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. It's distracting there. You're so, missing a... Yeah. I, I keep saying I'm going to fix that. And then you don't. Well, I wouldn't say I don't, I forget. It's kind of like the exhaust where you kept saying you get to it, and then it took eight videos. And I got to it. Yeah, so what video are we on for that one? I don't know. All of them? 32? You know, this, uh, this fine hot rod, I was thinking about it. So it's, I don't know, beginning middle-ish of April, and we brought it home between Christmas and New Year's. So it really had a lot done in a relatively short amount of time. So, sorry. People are asking all the time, what about the rear shocks? And the slapper man. bars. Man. Take the slapper bars. People are losing it. Like the car has no interior in it, a smashed windshield, but why aren't, don't you have shock absorbers? Uh, I don't know. Way she goes. Are you going to get shock absorbers? I have some. I will, yeah. That one needs a little sanding on the lip there. Do I have shocks? Um, I got to build a brace for it across the back because I we mini tubbed it. So that'll be upcoming. But I kind of want to make sure everything fit, which it does. And uh, the front shocks I was going to put together, but I only ordered one shock absorber. Why? Because I'm an idiot. Uh, Dim-witted. Dim-witted. So I got, uh, I ordered another one. That's actually inside. It's in the hallway. So we got to put this all-thread rod out. And... Uh, it looks something, but I'm hoping the back settles because I had a ratchet strap kind of pulling her down. And it's, uh, she sits like real high. I'm hoping with a little fuel in it now and the glass in it. Even the weight up front will help. This is a real hassle. We'll just wait and watch. <laughs> we have nothing else to do. Definitely think these are the wrong. Wrong-ish lug nuts, but maybe not. 
Only one way to find out, we'll drive and see if the wheel shakes out of our hand, right? Yeah. Exactly. At the very least, it'll look cool for the thumbnail. That's all that really matters, you're doing it for the thumbnail. Damn it. Wow. Brand new out of the box. Garbage. China. China. That's awkward. Wow. Come on, man. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. I try and have nice things, but it just doesn't work out. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Ooh, those front tires are big. I went uh, you think they're gonna rub? we will find out well that being said the uh, the front has is pulled down so that's ride height so it should be okay because there's no suspension travel the back does sit a fair bit high it's very high well I had it ratchet strapped down but we'll see we have to uh it doesn't look bad it just sucks. it looks bad no it needs it needs to be sucked down i had a ratchet strap pulling it down for the look so how will you do that uh well i'm thinking what will happen is as you drive it the springs will settle which is very common um. and if that doesn't work then i'll put a block in it and we'll just drop it a couple inches it looks very 80s yeah like 80s looks... street machine at this point i kind of like it the tires should fit actually because like i said that's right in the middle of the travel so they uh it's kind of luck <laughs> i do like it okay let's let's work on the grill slam that together right quick and i think that's it for me now because i am freaking starving now what danny's home for whatever you're making Soup. perfect so i put Come on, the people expect top quality entertainment. Um, they should not be watching this. So I bolted this on it. It's, it's bent and beat up, but it's painted. This is actually, I think, supposed to be silver, but somebody else had painted it in the past, and we'll just blame them. But anyways, we'll put this together right quick. And then the bottom piece, we should be able to slam that in. I think it just uses... Uh, is this the bottom piece, or is that the bottom? That's the bottom piece. Do you know what I'm looking at? The grill is in the chair. Oh, so that's the bottom piece. Yeah, so this is the top, then there's this, which a grill attaches to, then there's the bottom piece, and there's another piece of tin that attaches that and sandwiches all together. Very chintz. How much do you think that waffle piece of plastic would cost? Used or new? That's brand new right there. Brand new? Hey, look, not far off. It's 120 bucks. Oh, I was going to say 150, but I seem to guess high always. I thought that was highway robbery. <laughs> no? Leave the jokes to me. <laughs> yeah, you are funny looking. Okay, so obviously we got to get washers for them wheels, the offset jobs, but whatever. These are fine for now, and I like the look. Um, so I've been messing around... With this, I put the little headlight buckets in. They're pretty simple. There's just two bolts on the side, and then there's a couple here. This one I gotta kinda jostle over. Um, so we have the trim on, that's all golden. It's tight, but I mean, I guess that's just, it's the same on both sides. Well, that side maybe is a little bit off. I don't know. And then I think these pieces here, I gotta look. I think, I mean, based on this uh, uh, little speed clip, I guess this just fits over top of everything. Kind of? I don't know. It's a little goofy. What I gotta do now is try and fit this grill in. I have one push pin in it. When I took it out, these things have an angle. They were angled inwards on the other car. Whether or not that's right, I don't know. Maybe it's the same flipped at 180 or like the grill, I don't know. But it looks fine. The problem is the grill is beat to crap and all that this is held in with what it was is a little plastic push pin clips. So I got some of these like Christmas tree style ones because these are easy to use. And uh, I kind of just got the center one in. So I'm going to have to, but you can see the grill is actually above the housing again. So we got to kind of pry that down and I'll screw it around. So I'll set the um, tripod up and we'll see if we can kind of get, I think I'll work my way from the center out. You know, it's basically like torquing a cylinder head 
get that in there. I don't have any lights. They were broken, so I gotta go pick up a set of headlights. But I like to get this all done, make it look neat. And what a pile of work it's been. I, I mean, a whole evening of just trying to make everything fit, but I think it's El Permanente at this point, so I don't really feel too bad about it. I'd like to put the little markers in there. And then, yeah, I think that's where we're gonna leave it for now. Next video, we'll start putting door locks in and crap like that. Man, this, the wheels though. I love it. It's like a like day two style. If I said that or not, but I love it. Okay, so we'll see if we can. Oh, this thing is so bent. Get this kind of in here, and it's like <laughs> awkward as all. I'll get. I don't want to break this. It feels like it's. Let's maybe do the bottom. The bottom first. Just get her kind of locked in, maybe, so I'm not prying on it. Front and back. Ooh, there's a little bit of tension on that. Of course, I've dropped a clip. I only have three packs, so I have nine. So, it'll get a few in here. That's all that really matters. Uh, what a, like, what a chintzy car. Okay, so that's in. This is caught on something. Oh. All good noises. Yes, it's man. Oh, there we go. Okay, hang on, we got her. I think making progress. If I can get that in there. Hopefully, these are the same. Oh, jeez, junk pot metal tin crap. What a struggle. Come on. I can see it. There we go. <sighs> well, what a lot of work it has been over the last two days. I know the car doesn't look much different <laughs> at the end of the day. All we do is put a windshield in and uh, the grill and some wheel tubs. Like, how can that take two days? But if you're in the hot rods, you get it. I put the mark lights in. I'll probably have to take them out. I just put them in loose. I'll drill them out and probably put in some new uh, sockets. We gotta get some headlights for it. And once I get the headlights in, then we'll kind of jam these in. There's no point in putting it all together. Just take it apart, but it does look fantastic. Cleaned her all up. Um, so yeah, we gotta get some washers. What else do I gotta get? There was a list of stuff I had. Um, that's where I'm gonna we're gonna call it today the next video which I'm gonna start right away I do have to clean up in here but I want to do a little bit of work before I start cleaning I want to start putting the door locks together I have a whole bunch uh, door locks and the trunk lock mostly because I'm tired of screwing around with a screwdriver I'd like to just have a key I could use oh one headlight might be good you know what they say change one headlight at a time uh, so we get that done maybe we'll do taillights I'm not really too sure ultimately what I'm excited about doing is interior uh, I have a wiring kit. I want to put the wiring kit in. I want to drop the, the carpet in and uh, see what that looks like. Oh, lens is a little dirty there. Sorry, here it is. Uh, put all that in. I'd like to put the seats in. I said I got the next couple days off. I'd really like to get this thing so we can maybe just test the gears, see what it looks like. Go from there. I picked up a uh, new to me cluster that works. So that's pretty awesome. And actually, some tri five trim because I never have too much tri five trim. The rest, I mean, there's nothing in there, but we should be able to get something accomplished. I got an ignition switch. I don't have a headlight switch. I don't have a washer switch, but uh, that 68 could be a parts car, and we'll just kind of see. But we made lots of progress. Getting near the end. I want to get this thing so it runs and drives. Then I want to take a break from it and work on something else, even though it'll be 80% done, and I know, I know, I know, but I'm feeling a little burnt out on it. We've been pounding the videos, pounding out the content on this thing. I'm loving it but I want to take a break from it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one, which is probably tomorrow.